In an exciting development, China has announced a remarkable expansion of its list of group tour destinations, now encompassing a staggering 78 countries. This ambitious move is expected to provide an extraordinary array of choices for both domestic and international tourists, promising unforgettable experiences and cultural changes on a global scale. CGTN's Sun Chan Yun has the details. China's Ministry of Culture and Tourism has announced on Thursday the resumption of group tours to 78 overseas destinations. The list includes popular destinations for Chinese travelers such as Japan, Australia, the UK and the US. The ministry had previously resumed such tours to 60 countries as part of a trial program since February following a three-year halt due to the pandemic. Uh, travel agencies and service providers in China have reportedly seen a surge in outbound travel inquiries and searches for hotel accommodations abroad and following the announcement, so particularly for the week-long National Day holiday in October. Data from China's National Bureau of Statistics shows that the country had the world's largest outbound tourism market in 2019, with 169 million trips made that year. The market has been recovering rapidly this year, with international passenger flights continuing to resume and more people ready to travel abroad. In the first half of this year alone, tourists from the Chinese mainland have made over 40 million trips overseas. 94% of them visited Asian destinations such as Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia and Vietnam. Hong Kong and Macau were the most popular travel destinations during the first half of this year. This announcement has also boosted confidence in the stock market. Shares of tour agencies, hotels and airlines, especially in Asia, saw gains following Thursday's announcement. Meanwhile, Thailand is easing its visa application process for Chinese travelers by reducing approval time and required documents. In 2019, Chinese tourists made up the Southeast Asian country's largest source of visitors. Sun Tianyuan, CGTN, Beijing.